What the hell is that? You know what it is, bitch. So, as I'm sure you guys saw, I finished my coil gun. Uh, so this is actually only my second attempt at a coil gun. Um, you might have seen a video a while ago where I, uh, this, you can barely even call this a coil gun, but this would have to be my first attempt. Um, and then, probably a month or two ago, I uploaded a video of my finished 3D model of this. I, I spent about a day just 3D modeling all these parts. Uh, and since then I've been put, take, uh, putting the project down and picking it up again, I've just been kind of busy. Uh, but I've also run into a lot of roadblocks, but it means I've learned a lot from this project. So basically the way it works is uh, I've got this uh, salvaged uh, three cell LiPo from a, from a laptop, and that puts out about 11 to 12 volts. And uh, I'm sh I posted a video of this a while ago. This is my homemade boost converter circuit. So this takes the 11 to 12 volts and turns it into short little high voltage pulses to charge this 63 volt, uh, 40 millifarad capacitor bank. Um, and basically that uh, capacitors can discharge very quickly. They can put out a lot of current for a short period of time. So what you do is you put the uh, current through these two coils. So each one of these coils is about 250 turns. And for a very brief moment, they form an exceedingly powerful magnetic field. Now the uh, switching is handled by these two MOSFETs. These are the two beefiest MOSFETs that I could find. Uh, they handle, uh, they can handle a 300 amp pulse. Uh, not, so not continuously, just a pulse. And then they're, they're protected by these flyback diodes. But so essentially, uh, whenever a coil forms a magnetic field, so this is your projectile, uh, it's going to want to be pulled to the middle of the coil and then it'll stop right there. So the idea is that as the projectile is coming along, you turn the coil off, turn the magnetic field off, and the inertia of the projectile keeps it moving over to the next coil, where the next coil pulls on it and accelerates it more. So you have to time these. Uh, these are two uh, laser diodes that accomplish that. They, they shine on photodiodes here on the bottom. And basically the photodiode can detect when the laser beam is broken, meaning that the projectile is there. Uh, and so this Arduino controls that. It uh, indicates to these MOSFETs when they need to activate their, uh, their coil. And so the, the Arduino does a couple of other things as well. It controls the boost converter circuit. Uh, it, see, it can monitor the voltage of the capacitor bank and uh, turn the boost converter on and off as necessary because if you overcharge the capacitors, they'll explode. Uh, and then it will also, uh, it, there's this screen here. And so the uh, Arduino will show you the charge level of the capacitor so you know when it's ready to fire. Uh, it will also tell you the voltage of the battery so you know if it's about to die. And then additionally, uh, after each shot, it will tell you the muzzle velocity of the projectile. So it does that by looking at the last laser and seeing how long it takes uh, from the time that the laser gets broken to the time that it gets reestablished. And it can tell you, knowing the length of the projectile, tell you how fast the projectile is going. Uh, now, this be being my first, or sorry, uh, pr probably first real coil gun, my projectiles have only gotten up to 10 meters per second. but. Uh, I've got some ideas on how I want to make a better one. Uh, this has been a great learning experience, but basically, uh, obviously I want a higher voltage capacitor bank. And the big thing is, is uh, you get a lot more powerful magnetic fields if you form uh, multiple smaller coils, as in like uh, coils that are shorter from front to back. Additionally, uh, it's a good idea to stage your coils in, in a way that, say, your first coil has more windings than your second coil, because uh, since the projectile is moving so fast already, and the capacitor bank is going to be uh, a lower voltage by the time that projectile gets to it, you want it to be able to discharge more current. So you want it to have a lower uh, resistance. But yeah, other than that, I I'm super happy with this. Um, I'm going to keep trying to improve it, and I'll probably even work on another one soon. So yeah, have a good day. 
I forgot to mention, uh, if you guys want, I'd be happy to share my Arduino code, uh, my circuit schematics, and my 3D models if, if any of you guys want to uh, build one of these on your own. So, yeah.